Hey, what is going on guys, and it is your boy VNX here today, and today what you guys are watching in the background is not Call of Duty gameplay, something a little bit different, some Battlefield 1, hopefully you guys do enjoy. I'm a little bit rusty at Battlefield 1, uh, it's definitely going to take some learning to get better at the game. I picked it up uh, about a week ago, I haven't been playing it too much, I've actually been playing a lot of Borderlands, but besides the point, we're here to talk about scuff controllers and my experience with scuff gaming. So, uh, first of all, I've had my scuff controller, my current one, for probably a little over a month now. And uh, I'm going to put some images up on screen. You can see it. It's got the uh, white and black digicam. Uh, it's for Scuff Infinity, their newest and most current model of the controller. And honestly, I just haven't had much luck with Scuff. Uh, since forever really since I ever started using her products and there's plenty of videos uh, online on YouTube if you search it into Google to support my argument in that scuff gaming and scuff controllers are most certainly not worth your money first and foremost I just want to make it clear I've spent over probably about eight hundred seven hundred dollars on scuff gaming alone. That's not to include the monitor I play on, the PlayStation 4 I use, the games I play, the downloadable content as well, just purely on a controller and controllers and replacements for controllers and replacement for controller parts. From scuff gaming, I have spent over 800 Australian dollars. Now, I also want to make it clear, this is personally my experience. Um, I may reference others throughout the videos and uh, other YouTube videos online and whatnot who talk about the same issues as I do, but uh, I'm talking from my personal experience alone, so take this with a grain of salt and take it as you wish. Don't think this is the be-all and end-all. Um, at the end of the video, I am going to provide some alternatives to a scuff controller, but for now, let's get into the reasons why you shouldn't buy a scuff controller to begin with. The number one issue of Scuff Gaming is the poor customer service and how they constantly inadequately don't address the issue effectively. Now what I mean by this is I've had controllers break on me and I've wanted to send them back and keep in mind this wasn't on my half, I don't smash my Scuff controllers. Keep in mind I used to beat the absolute living fuck out of my stock PS4 controller, that's why I actually got a Scuff controller because you know, you needed to play with something when your controller's in a hundred pieces. But the way I look at it, a scuff controller, 300 or so dollars, I'm not going to smack it against my table, I'd rather smack a fucking infant against my table than smack this little precious thing. Despite the considerable amount of care I take for my controllers now, it still manages to fucking fall apart on me. So, uh, my first issue I had with the customer service and my first run-in with them was when the package itself, when the controller was first ever being delivered. And, uh, this was a little bit of a problem with me, uh, because I live in Australia, of course, and the shipping times can be delayed. So I rang them up about it, they're like, yeah, yeah, it will be on its way. Um, the shipping was roughly, what, 20-something days late than the estimated shipping day, what they sent me. I was a little bit pissed off about it, I emailed them saying it was late, they didn't even get a response. And, uh, a couple weeks later, one of the paddles broke for my controller. So so I emailed them once again, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, look, I've had my controller for roughly about two weeks now, and the fucking paddle's broke, you know, can you kind of send me another one? They're like, yeah, yeah, sure, we can send you another one, but you're going to have to pay for the paddle, and you're going to have to pay for the key to remove the paddle, and you're going to have to pay for the shipping. And at this point, I was like, well, I've only just got my controller, so I guess I'm going to have to do that. So I did that, I got the extra paddle, and I replaced it and whatnot, and then probably about, what, a month and a half Two months later, the controller just decides to fucking die on me. It literally is broken. So my current issue with it now, um, the buttons underneath the paddles, they don't respond. They do not work. I cannot jump. I cannot prone. I cannot knife. I cannot do any of the preset buttons. So I'm pretty much here with a stock controller at the moment, which is really disappointing. And uh, I emailed them once again, and they're like, yeah, sure. We can fix that for you if you ship it to us, if you pay us to repair it, and then you pay for the shipping back, which will come to about 90 Australian dollars. Yeah, no, I don't fucking think so, Scuff Gaming. And that has been my entire experience with Scuff Gaming. They want to play around in circles, they want to keep going on with the same thing, they just want to keep taking your money, keep your products breaking, so the cycle can repeat itself. And that's just my personal experience. Maybe you guys have had better luck. I guess it sort of depends on who you get through there. But then again, they do have to follow procedure and policy. And if that's their procedure and policy, it's quite frankly wrong. 
and it is fucking fraud. You should be able to send it off to them free of charge. They should pay for everything. You buy a $300 premium controller. You don't expect it to break within the first few months, do you? That's an investment. That's a like four, maybe three year investment. A $300 controller right there. I don't expect it to break within the first month. And this is a great segue into the second reason and why you should not purchase or waste your money on a scuff controller. That being the quality of their products. Not only their controllers, but all of their products. Their whole product line is flawed. I've had controller cables break, I've had controller cases not zip up. It's just a fucking shamble, it really is. But, uh, so, I'd understand if this controller was maybe, you know, some ghetto garage sale controller, what your auntie bought you for Christmas. You know, I'd expect that maybe to last a little under a year. You know, half a thumbstick's already worn off type of thing. But no, I was buying a premium controller and was under the impression that, you know, this would last a few years. It's considered an investment, okay? No, no, you go through about two a year, well, at least with my case, and they break for no apparent reason. I'm not slamming them, I'm not breaking them. It simply just comes down to controller quality. And when you spend 300 Australian dollars in a controller, wouldn't you expect it to be quality? Moving on to my third and final point and reason why you shouldn't buy a scuff controller is what I just mentioned before. $300 for a controller. Here in Australia, PlayStation 4s go for about $400. So essentially, you are paying three quarters of your entire console for a controller with two extra buttons on the back. Now, I've went ahead and I did a little research before making this video, and I found some alternative products which offer the same thing, the same idea as a scuff controller, do it a little bit differently for a lot cheaper price, a lot lower cost, save a lot of money, and in fact, you can get more value for your money. So I'm gonna link a couple of these controllers down in the description down below. Go have a look, check them out for yourself if you're looking about buying a pro control with paddles or whatnot on the back. Definitely check out your options first, don't just jump to scuff. Uh, by all means, if you think scuff is best fit for you, go for it. However, check out all of these alternatives. I must admit I haven't tried out any of these alternatives, so I can't give you a personal review or guide you in a specific direction. However, I'm just letting you all know about my personal experience with scuff gaming. And just highlighting a few of the company's flaws, such as the inadequate service, the poor quality of controllers, and the overpriced ridiculous scandalous controllers themselves hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys are new around here click that red shiny subscribe button let me know what you want to see if you want to see cod battlefield borderlands i know borderlands is old but it's really fun but yeah nevertheless hopefully you guys did enjoy drop a like if, subscribe if you're new and as always have marvelous day you don't have to love me, love me.